Finally, I've been waiting for this season two for like a year and a half now. Finally got it. Hey everyone, welcome to another review. Here's my TV review of the show Master of None, Season 2. Yes, Master of None, one of the great comedies that is on television as of now. Yes, in my opinion, Master of None is probably the best comedic show that is on TV. Yes, I love Silicon Valley and there's other great comedic shows out there, but... It freaking and the Master of None is just brilliant. The first season of Master of None that came out in 2015 was amazing. One of the best shows of 2015. It was amazing. It really blew me away with its comedy, its drama, its amazing themes, its great storytelling, its great characters, and it proved to me that Aziz Ansari is not only funny but very creative as a writer and director. And again, I was never a big Aziz Ansari fan. Like I saw some of his stand-ups, and I've seen some of his like supporting roles. In movies and he never blew me away as a comedian but Master of None was brilliant and I was excited for season two and yes it finally came on Netflix and I binge watched the whole second season and honestly uh, Master of None season two is not only a fantastic season but it's better than the first season and that like it astounds me because the first season was so freaking brilliant, so well paced, so well written, so well executed. It was just freaking laugh out loud hilarious. This one was even more. It upped the stakes. Like, it was funnier. It was more creative. It had better themes. It had more mature content. And some of the stories were just so fascinating. It was more fresh. It was more avant-garde and obscure at times. And just so freaking brilliant. The first episode of Master of None Season 2 is basically a straight homage of The Bicycle Thief. The whole, the whole episode is black and white and it's all basically in Italian and stuff. And it's fantastic. It is a direct homage to The Bicycle Thief. And it's so well done. There's literally a whole episode of just them talking about all these different people in New York City. And some of them are not even characters in the show, but each of these little, like, vignettes are all so interesting. And I don't know who any of these characters are, but they're all great characters. And they're all really funny and likable. And, yeah, just so many episodes are just so interesting and so fascinating and just... Every episode of this season just blew me away, and it was the fastest binge, and it was the, and it was also the most saddest binge because after it was done, I just I wanted more, and I don't know how long it's gonna take to get a season three, but I want it now. Like after season two ended, I desperately want a season three. Anyways, let's get to the story of Season 2. Again, uh, Master of Done Season 2 is created by the same creators of the first season, which is Alan Yang and Aziz Ansari. And it stars Aziz Ansari as the character Dev. And this season, it starts off that he's in Italy, because at the end of the first season, he broke up with his girlfriend, Rachel. She moved to Japan, I think, and he moved to Italy for food school, and, you know, and to volunteer in a restaurant stuff, and... Basically, that's the gist of the first episode, then the second episode, he moves back to New York and he becomes a host of this new weird reality game show called Clash of the Cupcakes and stuff, and he's uh, he has a boss that's played by Bobby Cannavale and stuff, and yeah, he basically wants to pitch him a new TV show idea and stuff, and it also talks about Dev's life and his friends' lives and stuff, and him going on relationships, you know, dealing with other things and stuff, and there's even an episode all about religion and his family and stuff, and I, I don't want to spoil but there's also a thing with him and this girl, Francesca, and I don't want to, no spoilers in this in this review. I just gotta, all I gotta say is, though, this season was amazing. It was laugh out loud hilarious. It was so well written. The writing was so strong this season. Aziz Ansari and Alan Yang's writing was amazing. Most of it was directed by Aziz Ansari as well, and he did an amazing job. He's a great filmmaker. Like, I love to see Aziz, Aziz Ansari uh, write and direct a, a movie, because he is that good. The writing, how he writes his characters, and how he writes the story, it's not only interesting and compelling and original, it's just really real and really humanized. It's funny. It is really freaking funny. And yeah, I had a blast this season. Like, again, it was... So, I don't want to spoil any of the jokes, because... 
Again, it works in context of the show, and honestly, this season was fantastic. It was so realistic, it was so human, just, it felt like I was watching real-life people in New York City, and it was just so good, it was so good. I love the character Dev, and I love all the stuff he goes through and stuff. Like, the episode when he goes on all these first dates, it is so funny, probably the funniest episode of this season, and, you know, him and the, with the relationship with Francesca and stuff, him in Italy, him dealing with the clash of the, the cupcakes, it is so funny. There's, there's even an episode with Cedric the Entertainer as a magician. That is so funny. And just in of it, the jokes write itself. It is so funny. And how the season ended was so freaking well done. There's a lot of great dramatic scenes, great comedic scenes, and even romantic scenes, and they're all done perfectly. Master of Done Season 2, again, is one of the best TV shows of 2017. It's right there with Legion and even Feud, Betty and Joan and stuff. This is just a fantastic series. Season 1 was amazing. Season 2 is even more amazing. I hope it wins a lot of Emmys this year. I hope it takes all the comedy awards. And I hope Aziz Ansari gets Best Actor in a comedy series. And I hope the episode... New York, I Love You gets a Best Writing nomination and stuff, but yeah. Yeah, Master of None, absolutely amazing. I didn't have a single flaw with it. It was fantastic. I can't wait for Season 3. So yeah, on a scale of 1 to 10, I'm going to give Master of None Season 2 a 10 out of 10. I have no issues with it. It was fantastic from start to finish. So yeah, that was my review for the TV show Master of None Season 2. So yeah, in the comment section below, please tell me, have you watched Master of None yet? If you have not, please go on Netflix right now and watch Season 1 and then get blown away by Season 2. It's a fantastic show. One of the best comedies on TV as of now. And if you've watched Season 2, what is your favorite episode of Season 2? My favorite episode is a tie between First Date and New York I Love You. Those are probably the funniest episodes of Season 2, in my opinion. But what is your favorite episode of Season 2? Comment below, let me know. And as always, if you like this video, please like, subscribe to this channel, and join the Doc Sock.